Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading for 2017. This is your career and finance reading for the year of 2017. Uh, definitely make sure to check out AstroJar.com. A bunch of other AstroJar readers are releasing uh, 2017 readings as well around this time. So definitely uh, check that out. But let's see what comes up for you. It's been a good year for pretty much for everybody so far that I've read for. Um, and I think it's because, you know, things are just getting easier and uh, better financially as well. So uh, that's nice. And I, I do think 2017 just in general for everybody is just a much nicer, um, easier kind of year. And I wanted that card too, so I'm going to take it. Um, so that's nice. And, and it's definitely a lot easier for you. Funny enough, um, you know, the one challenge that has come up is friends and issues with friends. Definitely don't, uh, you know, be cautious. I, I won't say don't, but just be aware of lending money to friends and things like that. You're probably not going to see it again. So it's come up for several signs, at least like five signs so far. Um, and I've switched decks twice. So I know it's not like a card sticking or anything like that. So there must be just something going on. Just be careful of lending money for friend to friends and even family, um, you probably maybe won't see it back. Uh, so again, just be careful of that. If you're okay with that, then, you know, then there's no problem. But again, if you want the money back, then just don't do it because you won't see it again. It's that simple. Uh, next, you have the two hearts. So you got a lot of stuff, funny enough, around um, love coming up here. And um, so I think that love could play an important role to you making money. Uh, water signs are definitely one of those signs, uh, water signs in general, I will say, are definitely signs where it's like love can definitely like increase our earnings and, um, you know, especially when we have a relationship to work for, it can, it can be like our muse or something like that that makes us more money. So I do feel like there could be a relationship. We'll have to see when we get to your love reading, um, for 2017, but I think that it, love in general and, and especially new love could be very beneficial to a lot of you. This is also a great card for just falling onto a job or a business business that you love that's like really good for you that makes you really happy so a lot of you could be having that happen this year uh, next you have the Joker I think a lot of you will have to be wearing many hats this year um, especially if you're in business you might have to do multiple different things and really try to learn how to kind of do multiple tasks and things like that but it'll be good it'll also be entertaining for you um, you know the Joker card is a card of enjoyment so I think a lot of you in work will enjoy the work that you're doing this year and in business I think you'll enjoy the business and even if you're retired I think even a lot of you retirees you have a very specific club here uh, a clubs card here the five of clubs that can represent um, you know kind of picking up a little side thing that you do just to uh, stay busy and things like that uh, next you have the king of clubs uh, specifically, I think for a lot of you who are in business, uh, finding a mentor would be a very good idea for you um, and, and finding somebody to look up to that could help you or even just finding somebody that you can work alongside. Like if you work from home or something like that, like having somebody you can meet up with every once in a while who also works from home on their own business and you can just bounce ideas off of them. I think finding somebody like that would be very helpful. Um, you know, this is part of a trusted advisor and things and somebody who you can just look up to. So, but I also feel like they're looking up to you as well. So it, it feels very two way to me. Um, so especially if you're in business, maybe finding somebody like that could be beneficial this year. Again, it doesn't feel like a business this partnership it just feels like somebody who's there who kind of can you know who also has their own thing going on uh, for the rest of you who don't have a business it's just a great card for looking into the future and planning your finances um it, i think 2017 is a year of financial responsibility 2018 will get even stronger but and, and by that i mean people just are becoming better at finances and becoming more financially responsible and uh, that will just help you out a lot next you have the three of hearts card of emotional happiness so obviously you're going to be happy about your finances this year and things are going to go well there it to me it's just again just the card of emotional happiness and being happy about the way things are going uh, next you have the five of clubs five of clubs is a card of hobbies and making money of ho off of hobbies also a card of travel you could say that travel could be profitable for a lot of you but for the rest of you a lot of you could be thinking about starting hobbies hobby based businesses and even side businesses like maybe you have a job but maybe you just want to have a little bit of extra money on the side uh, we're going to be seeing that a lot more especially in 2018 I think it's just going to explode in 2018 I think there are going to be a lot of more opportunities like uber and, and things like that where people can just make money on the side like just have extra um, and things like that um, so 
again, I would encourage you to stay open to those types of opportunities. Anything new, any, anything innovative as well, and anything that is disruptive, uh, anything that disrupts an industry, like, you know, Uber disrupted ta the taxi industry. Uh, you know, I, again, I think by 2018, there will be a lot more of that stuff, those types of industries to work in. And, um, but start looking now. You never know what could pop up. And I think those things will be extremely profitable for you. And what, I mean, what you'll be seeing is you'll be seeing how people will be able to, you know, have a job that doesn't pay, maybe pay a lot and then have some little side gig that they do on, on a weekend. And then you'll be living really comfortably and you'll be really happy. So definitely look into those types of opportunities. Uh, uh, next, you have the Ace Hearts. Very good card for just happiness, again, in general. It also represents the home. I, I, I mean, I know I get a little bit preachy about this stuff, and I've said it like a million times in the past, but uh, jobs aren't coming back. So everybody always asks me, like, when am I getting a, a job and, and things like that. And some people will. Some people will get jobs. But for the most part, jobs aren't coming back. Um, I think people are learning to be self-reliant and learning that they need to save themselves and uh, learning that they're going to have to, like, start a business or, again, work for Uber or something like that, do something different. Um, and ACEs are all about innovation. So, again, doing something different, doing something new. Um, I think that's where a lot of money will come in for a lot of you. If you're in business, is an excellent card for just making more money. And, again, even if you're retired, it's an excellent card for just feeling more comfortable and, and feeling like you have kind of like a good amount of money to protect you. And then finally, you have the King of Spades. Uh, Scorpio, all water signs, really, I think, have just taken the past, like, nine, ten years, put it all into, like, one little kind of thought, summed it all up over the, in December, really, and um, decided what they really want to do. And based off of difficulties and challenges and battles, even, in their lives. So I think you actually have a good direction financially this year and have a good idea of what you need to do to get to where you want to go and um, again I think that will be very good for you this is a card of mastery and success so I think a lot of you will see a lot of that and it's also a card of justice so I think if you feel like there has been financial injustice against you because of these difficulties a lot of you will be seeing a turnaround there so to me it looks like an awesome financial year for you um, just watch out for friends, like I said, and things like that. But it looks like a year of adventure, potential going, potentially going on adventures, but also really liking what you're doing, which I think is the most important thing here. But I'd say really also the other thing is looking for unconventional ways to make money and looking for other ways of making money as well. If you have a business, maybe you have a business idea, but you're like, I don't have the money to do this. I would say don't be so quick to judge your, your business ideas like that and just say, instead of saying that, say, how could I do this? How could I make it happen? And look for other alternatives for making it work because these cards say that those opportunities are there and whatever your idea is could be extremely profitable but you have to be the one to make it happen um, so it looks like an awesome year so thank you for watching and enjoy your 2017